Once upon a time, the maximum height of a building was determined by the thickness of its walls, because the weight of each story had to be supported by the floors below. It meant tall buildings remained the realm of the rich and powerful. Medieval religious architects enabled thinner walls and large stained glass windows by using external supports called flying buttresses. But these also made buildings grow sideways and were still the preserve of the wealthy church. Bless you, my child. But there was a revolution on the horizon. Built in 1796, Ditherington Flax Mill was the brainchild of engineer Charles Bage. And he drew on the region's groundbreaking use of iron to build the first metal-framed building on the planet. Previous to the iron frame, the taller the building, the thicker the walls had to be to support them. But with Bage's design, the walls could be thinner, which meant that the rooms could be much larger. It also meant that you could design buildings much taller. In Bage's design, all the weight of the building was borne on its iron frame. So none of the walls were load-bearing, making the sky the limit for the first time. This main building had five floors, including this attic, which was previously unheard of. It had a working area of over 2,800 square meters, or 31,000 square feet. And these narrow, relatively lightweight metal beams would be able to support much more weight than the solid brick walls of previous buildings. This simple but brilliant engineering solution meant that Bage's flax mill was the forerunner of almost every large-scale building in the modern world. <laughs> 